HomeWorks is a teacher home visit program that partners families and teachers to improve students' academic success. And here to tell us more is founder and CEO of HomeWorks, Karen Kalish. Hi, Karen. Good to Hi, see Steve. you. Hey, listen, I've known you for a long time. HomeWorks is something uh, uh, new on my radar. But uh, how many organizations have you been involved with, involved with since I've known you over the years? I've been very lucky. I started my first nonprofit in the 90s in, in uh, Washington, D.C., and it's still going in its 26th year, high school teen leadership program. And then I started Books and Badges, and we've talked about that, which puts police recruits in the schools on a weekly basis right here, St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department, so they can work with the kids. And then I started Cultural Leadership, which is another teen leadership program for high school students. And now we're here. Well, I am a serial social entrepreneur. <laughs> serial meaning like a lot of them. Right. And entrepreneur starts things and social is for the community. I'm so lucky I get to well, do Well, how this. did that all start for you? Why is that important to you to make a, a difference in that way? I don't know. I, I don't know. I got that gene. I have no idea. But this one, well, they're all important. But this one is so important for our community. From the day the child, a student, child is born to becoming part of the workforce. And we don't have the workforce we need for our future. Mm -hmm. So we have to go all the way back to the day a child is born. And there are so many kids in this community and the much wider community who come to school on their first day of school and they don't know their shapes, their colors, their letters, or how to write their name. And that means they're a year or two behind already in kindergarten. Don't they have nursery school so, anymore like when I was young no, or not? No, and there's lots of families who the moms, dads, grandmothers are working. They have two and three jobs. They're trying to keep the lights on and food on the table. Some moms, dads, grandmothers didn't do so well in school and don't quite know what to be doing. No one read to them. And so there's a lot of reasons. But the bottom line is there's all these kids who come to school behind. And when they come to school behind, it's over. It's, they're gonna end, the data shows they're going to end up in the because criminal justice system. they can't keep up and they give there up, maybe? There is no way to catch up. Now, you're going to say, wait a minute, they're in school. How come they can't catch up? This will surprise you, but they're only in school. If you look at the whole year, every minute of every day of a year is 100%. They're only in their school buildings, 14% of their year. So they're not in Saturday. They're not in Sunday. They're not in all summer. And of a day, they're in school seven hours. They sleep eight and they're still nine, where they're not doing anything educational or academic or enriching because moms, dads, grandmothers are trying to work but, and keep. But you don't think that's wrong, do you? you, you it's not about right and kids. wrong. It's an is. And so they are not, they come behind and they can't catch up in only 14%. Mm -hmm. That's not even academic. That's walk in the door and walk out. Mm -hmm. So here's the answer an answer. Home works. Getting moms, dads, grandmothers engaged in their children's education. Good. And this is where the teacher home visit comes in. To have a partnership. This is not about fixing anybody. This is about partnering school and home, moms, dads, grandmothers, and teachers and people in the school to work together to have more things going on at home. Yeah, let me just bring out that point. I think it's good to emphasize. When I first heard about this, homework, I just kind of assumed for some reason it was like, Teachers would go to home and tutor them, but that's not this at all. Absolutely not it at all. This is about building a relationship, building trust between moms, dads, grandmothers, and teachers at school so they can then partner and work together. Moms, dads, grandmothers learn where the kid is, about absences and tardies. Many children are absent way more than they need to be, and they have to be at school all day, every day, mm -hmm. to be able to take advantage of everything. Mm -hmm. So missing school is really hard. Coming late, they miss instructions. They need to come on time. So we work to get, what can we do to get Johnny to school? What can we do to get Jamal to school on time? And we'll partner on it. No blame, no shame, no judgments, always working together. But what I think is interesting is involving the parents, because you know, you involve the kids when they go to school, but making the parents feel included is sort of a new thing. It's absolutely crucial. You know what, Steve, it's not new. My second grade teacher came to my house. Really? Teachers used to live in the neighborhood with their students. This is not new to have moms, dads, grandmothers in schools working together. It hasn't been done for generations, but it's not new having home and school work together. All right, Karen, we're going to pick up on this in just a second. Uh, there's more with Karen Kalish and Homeworks right after this break, so stay with us here at STL Live.